we need to be able to label and describe the role of each part in this diagram of the leaf structure. You must imagine that this diagram is a cross section of the leaf as if you're looking at it from the side. So this is the top of the leaf and this is the bottom of the leaf. Looking from the top, we have a waxy cuticle. This helps reduce water loss in the plant and allows light to pass through it. Below that is the upper epidermis, which is a single layer of cells. Next is the layer known as the palisade mesophyll layer. This layer is packed with vertically orientated palisade cells. Palisade cells are specialized for photosynthesis as they are full of chloroplasts. They are found in the upper layers of the leaf because they are more exposed to light and it is more efficient to have them packed vertically as light can interact with more chloroplasts as it travels through the leaf and makes the most of the space available. Below the palisade mesophyll is the spongy mesophyll layer. The cells here are more spread out and you have gaps available for gases like carbon dioxide to move throughout the leaf. Within the spongy mesophyll is the xylem and phloem. These are found in the leaf vein and these travel throughout the plant. Xylem carries water from the roots to the leaves and phloem carries sucrose, which is a type of sugar, from the leaves to other parts of the plant. Below the spongy mesophyll layer is the lower epidermis and a waxy cuticle. But notice it has gaps. These gaps are called stomata, which includes a pore called stoma and two cells encircling the stoma called guard cells. This is the site of gas exchange where carbon dioxide, for example, can enter the leaf and oxygen can exit. Water can also be lost through the stomata in a process called transpiration. The guard cells can close and open to regulate the rate of transpiration and gas exchange. For example, if the plant needs to conserve water, the guard cells will close the stomata to reduce the rate of transpiration. In the next lesson, we will take a closer look at the xylem and transpiration in plants.